everybody, I'm Jessica. Welcome to Jessica Smith TV. And today's episode is all about slimming those saddlebags and getting rid of the inner thigh bulge. Now this is an area I most commonly asked for exercises for. So I'm gonna give you some moves that really help target those areas. But I want you to keep in mind, you can't spot reduce. So be sure to pair these moves with a healthy diet as well as an overall strength and cardio workout plan for best results. Are you ready, Peanut? Okay, we're ready to get started here. So we're gonna start warming up with just a little side step and tap back. So we're gonna build this into our first move, which is called the Capoeira Skater. So this is a two-in-one toner. We're gonna work through the outsides of those hips and thighs, and we're targeting the inner thighs here as well. So the inner thighs help us with directional changes like this side and back movement. And they also bring our legs in towards the midline of our body, right? So right here, we're starting to engage those two areas with just this simple warm-up step. So we're gonna go ahead and make this a little bigger by adding some arm movements now. I want you to reach and twist, reach and twist. So what we're doing here is adding a little core. So we're gonna work your waistline too. Another little bonus for you. But that little rotation gives us a balance challenge. Again, working the inner thighs to help us stop. Good. Now I think we're a little bit warmer, so we're gonna go ahead and make this even bigger and take that back leg down into a little diagonal lunge. So you have that twist as you come down to your lunge. Now I want you to make that side step as big as you can. Travel all the way across your room. Good, go from one wall to the other. Four more here. Three. Now we're gonna add a little fat burning layer. See if you can make that step a leap. So it's out to the side. Gonna get the heart rate up. Get a little cardio effect here. So that's gonna help us burn more calories and reduce our overall body fat, which guess what? Slims those saddlebags, gets rid of that inner thigh bulge. Good, keep it going here. So notice I'm not jumping up, I'm jumping out. So you're gonna push off the feet, use those inner thighs to help you jump from side to side. Are we feeling this yet? I am, let's do four more. Good, three more. Two more, last one. Ooh, take it up. Just breathe. How you feel, good? We got those key areas hit. So we're warmed up. We're gonna keep moving through the circuit here. Our next exercise I call a sumo slide in. So we're gonna go into a sumo squat. Again, another good one for the inner thighs. Also gonna work the outsides of the hips and glutes. So I want you to step wide with your feet, turn your knees and toes out slightly, sit back, push up. So my hips are moving back and forth. Don't confuse that with a plie, where we keep the body upright. The point of that sumo squat, see it all the way down. So if you think about a sumo wrestler, they come down here a lot, right? So that's why we're going low. We're turning out the knees and toes. We're dropping the hips. Good. Now, let's get more of the inner thigh action going. And we're gonna do a little slide in with the right heel as those legs extend up, looks like this. Come down, do it again. Out, slide in. Good, push the hips back. Your inner thighs are gonna engage to slide that heel in. Nice, down and up, good. Now you know me, I always like to add on to things. So if you're feeling this real strong here, you can hang out here the whole time. But if you wanna add a little more for that core, take your opposite hand down and across down and across. So I'm stepping out with my right foot, which means my left hand goes down. Four more here. 
two more. Now let's just come back to that basic sumo squat. So checking back in, make sure that your feet are wide enough, that your knees open safely out, right over your toes. Heart rate's in the cardio zone, yeah? Good, we're all about maximizing every second of our workout time. Let's get as much done as we can. So let's go ahead and start sliding that left heel in. Come up and out. Good. Now check your posture here. Just because we're concentrating on the lower body doesn't mean your upper body gets to go to sleep. Make sure you're not slouching forward with your shoulders. Chest is open. How are we doing, Peanut? She's supervising our form. She already loves her hips and thighs. She looks great. She doesn't have to worry about this stuff. Good, now, your option, but if you want, take that opposite hand across. Now, where you tap is up to you. I know it's a little fast, so if you wanna to go to your knee only, that's fine. Maybe you can reach your calf. Maybe you can get to your heel. I don't know. You're gonna tell me. Down and up. Good. Let's do four more here. Two more here. Last one. Tap and breathe. Great job, okay. So we're gonna move on to another exercise. So side lunges are great for those outer and inner thighs. We're gonna make our side lunge even more interesting by doing a little combination move. So we're gonna start with the hands on the hips to begin so we can focus on that lower half. Just give me a side lunge to the right. Push. So for now, that left leg is staying straight in place. It's your anchor. The hips are going back and forth. Your whole right foot is planted firmly into the floor here. When the knee bends, check to make sure it's lining up over, never past those toes. Back is flat, still got good posture going on. Good. You with me? Okay. So we're gonna add on to this. Give me one basic lunge. One lunge, tap your foot across. One basic, come up, tap. Now I want that foot to get all the way across the midline of your body. Why? Inner thigh engagement. Tap it up. Yeah? Nice. So we're just gonna keep our arms on our hips for this one. I should say hands on our hips. Two more, then I'll show you another option. Last one here, down and up. Now, you can stay where you were, or give me a little jump and a brush. Power off that leg, sweep it across. A little more intensity if you want it. So we're getting a little plyometric power from that right leg without having to add a lot of impact, which is nice for the knee joint, but it still gets those fast twitch muscle fires firing up. Sweep it across. Now when your leg crosses your body, think of lifting your heel up to the ceiling for me. Good, again, heart rate's climbing even more. Got that cardio action. I need four more. Push. Good, three more. Last two, you look great, stay with me. One more, please. Step tap. How we doing? You ready for the other side? There's a whole other side, we got the other leg, right? So take a second, if you need to scooch over a little bit, give yourself more room. We're gonna take that left leg out and just take that basic side lunge. So this is the perfect time to make some adjustments. If you need to take your foot out wider or closer, check your knee alignment, check in with that posture again, check in with Peanut, she's gone to sleep. She had a long day today. It's hot outside, we went for a walk, she's tired. Four more, and we're gonna add on. Good, last two here. Give me that one basic lunge and take the tap across. Squeeze, one basic, 
tap it across. Good. So we start on the floor just to get our bearings, get in our balance. But remember, there's nothing wrong with hanging here if you feel you still need to work on this a little longer. Some days you're ready for more. Some days your body says, hey, this is enough for me right now. We always listen to what our body says first. Four more here. Three, good. Now really focus on those inner thighs as we squeeze that leg across to tap. Are you ready for one more here? So optional, level it up with that power plyo. Sweep it across. Power push. Good, lift that heel. Nice. Zip those inner thighs together. Great work, come on, hang on. Push and sweep, we got this. Push and sweep. Jump off that leg, real strong. Can you give me two more? Of course you can. Last one. Excellent work, you guys. Hold it here. Let's breathe for a second. We're gonna let our heart rate come down just a little bit while we're tapping and talking. So our last set of moves is actually on the floor. So you never wanna just hit the floor right after getting the heart elevated. That could cause a little dizziness. So we're breathing. If you need a little padding, you might wanna pull out a mat for this one. But we're gonna make our way down to the ground. Peanuts borrowing my mat, so I'll just suffer on the floor. You got, you got my mat, right, P? Okay, so we're gonna lay all the way down onto our side, both legs extended and stacked right underneath the hips. You're gonna bend your top leg up, take your top hand, bring it in front of you on the floor. It's gonna help us stay stacked. Your abs are working hard. So this comes to us from Pilates. You're gonna do a little passe with that top leg. We turn the knee in and out. Just start right here. So we're getting into the hips and the glutes of that top leg. So my toe is pointed through my sneakers. Just point your foot as best you can. Just make sure you're not crunching your toes so you don't get any cramping in the arch of your foot. Just give me a couple more like this. Two more. Good, now we're gonna hold that passe and lift the bottom leg up and down. So make sure that leg hasn't drifted in front of you. It's right underneath your pelvis. Leg is nice and straight and strong. You're lifting that heel to the ceiling. So especially if you're working on a harder surface, if you feel like you need something underneath your bottom hip, you can fold up your mat, a towel, anything. Don't suffer if it's putting some pressure on your hip bone. Good, two more. Now give me just four knees. We come out and in. Three, two, give me four lifts from that inner thigh. Four, three, two, let's do two of each. Knee for two, lift for two. You got it? Give me one of each. The knee first, then the lift, then the knee, then the lift. Very good, three, and up, four, we're gonna go for eight. So we have four more like that, and in, squeeze it up, three, and lift, last two, come on. Abs in tight here, one more time. Great job, let's bend both knees and slowly bring ourselves up to seated. Swing your legs around to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna lay on the side here, stacking the legs, coming into that side passe. Use your hand here. Just give me that knee, turn it in, turn it out. So think about the belly button, bracing your spine here the whole time. And my bottom leg still has energy, even though it's not moving yet. I want you to really lengthen that bottom leg out into the floor. Keep those hips nice and stacked for me. Let's hold it up, go for that inner thigh. Lift and lower, lift and lower. And notice my leg is not getting that high up. So I wanna be able to stay stacked through my hips. But we're squeezing through the inner thigh muscle on that bottom leg. Up, lift, I should say muscles, there's several of them here. 
Let's go into the knee, turn it in, turn it out. Two more here. Good, lift that bottom leg for four, three, two. Give me two with the knee, in and out. Two with the lift. Good, put it together, in and out. Lift up, in and out, lift up. Nice job. Keep squeezing, that's it. Four, and up. Five, we're almost done here. Stay with me, six. Good, two more to finish. Last one, take it in, take it out, lift up. Great job, bend both knees. Let's go ahead and bring it up to seated. Let's do a quick stretch just to wrap things up. So we're gonna start with the outsides of those hips and thighs, crossing the legs, lean forward, relax your head down. Good. So guys, you can do this circuit of moves up to four non-consecutive days a week. Let's come into butterfly while we keep talking. But keep in mind, if you really wanna reduce those two key areas, pay attention to your diet, make sure you're eating as healthily as possible, and also keep in mind you wanna reduce your body fat with that well-balanced fitness program that includes cardio and total body strength training too. Thank you so much for joining Peanut and I today. We look forward to sweating with you guys again soon. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the videos that you enjoy, and share them with your friends. Take care. Oh my goodness, that was a hard workout. Yeah, you did so much work. What are we gonna do?